overflows. Life is rhythmic. Not only life is rhythmic, instead in life everything is a rhythm. You are happy and then unhappiness follows. Night and day, summer and winter, life is a rhythm between two opposites. So too, when you try to become aware, the same rhythm will be there. Sometimes you are aware, while other times not. This is the reason you feel aware sometimes, while other times this awareness is no more. Awareness seems to pulsate. There is no need to create any problem because you are such an expert in creating problems that out of nowhere you can create problem. And once you have created a problem, then you want to solve it. And then there are people who supply you with ready-made answers. A wrong problem is always answered by a wrong answer. And then it can go on ad infinitum. Then a wrong answer again creates more questions and this process continues. From the very beginning, you have to be aware not to create any wrong problem or problem at the level of the mind. Otherwise, entire life goes on and on in wrong direction. Always try to understand not to create a problem. Everything pulsates into a rhythm and when I say everything, I mean everything. Love and there is a hate. Awareness and there is unawareness. Do not create any problem, instead enjoy both. Do you create problem between day and night? Day and night are one rhythm. While aware, enjoy awareness, and unawareness grips you, then to enjoy. There is nothing wrong in unawareness, absolutely nothing is wrong because unawareness is like a rest night. Otherwise, awareness will become attention if you remain waking 24 hours. How many days you think you can survive? Or you can be alive. Without food, man can live only for three months. However, without sleep, Within three weeks, he will go mad and you will try to commit suicide. In the day, you are alert. In the night, you relax. This is the rhythm. Rhythm is not something theoretical. It is a practical, the way things happen in life. And that relaxation helps you in the day again to be more and more alert, fresh. Energies have passed through a rest period. They are more alive in the morning again than in the evening. The same will happen in meditation as well. For a few moments, you are perfectly, totally aware at the peak and the next moment you are in the valley. Peaks do not exist without valley and valley do not exist without peak. Both valley and peak are the rhythm. Rhythm always happens between the opposites. At the peak and then next moment you are in the valley, resting, 
and awareness has disappeared at that moment. You have forgotten. But there is nothing wrong in it. Absolutely nothing wrong in it. It is simple. Through unawareness, you gain awareness again, fresh and young. This process goes on. If you can enjoy both, you become the third. And the third is transcendence, beginning of transcendence. And if you can enjoy both, you are the third. And that is the point to be understood. It is through the rhythm of the opposites, rhythm that opposites create, you reach to the third. And this point is very important to understand. A note plays and after that there is a gap and then another note plays. So gap between two notes helps the note to flow into and for you to understand. If you can enjoy both, it means you are neither awareness nor unawareness. Then what is it? Then you are the one who enjoys both. Something of the beyond enters. In fact, this is real witness. You enjoy the both dimensions that life brings, the inner and outer. Happiness you enjoy, there is nothing wrong and there is absolutely nothing wrong when happiness disappears and you have become sad once again. Nothing you think that sadness is bad or is wrong. Nothing is wrong in sadness. Enjoy it. And once you become capable of enjoying sadness, then you are neither. This is transcendence. When you are not affected by any of these, day or night, heat or cold, instead you are beyond the both. That is the moment of transcendence. It is simple. We know many words, but we do not understand. The word is, Upanishads say, awake and arise. What awake means? You have been living in your narrow individuality. This is mine, that is yours, and so on, so forth. You are concerned with your own life. You are coming out of this domain of narrowness. Instead of living in your, within your cage of the cage that is self-created, you come out in the open space, then you are awake. And then it is like the night is coming to an end, there is dawn, light is peeping through the the screen of darkness, so you wake up and then you arise. So two words, awake and arise, comes together. Arise means you have now come out of the narrow boundaries, then what it is happening? When you come out of the narrow boundaries, you think in terms of totality, you think in terms of broad-mindedness, then the whole earth becomes one family. Everyone that you meet becomes a part of your family. If you enjoy, you will find that sadness has its own beauty. Night has its own beauty. Day has its own beauty. Happiness is a little shallow. Just as light is a little shallow, Darkness, it is very deep, very dense. You cannot see through the darkness beyond a certain distance. Sadness is very deep. It has depth into it. 
a man who has never been sad will be shallow just on the surface sadness is like the dark night a very deep darkness has silence into it and sadness too happiness bubbles there is a sound in it it is like a river in the mountains sound is created but in the mountains river can never be deep it is very shallow it is always shallow when river comes to the plains it becomes deep and that sound that it was creating while it was flowing through the mountain is not there so that sound that appeals to you is the sound of the shallowness of the river it moves and when it comes passing it is passing through the plains its depth has gone up gone more but the sound has disappeared it moves as if it is not moving so sadness has a depth there is no need to create any trouble for any kind while happy be happy and enjoy it but do not get identified with anything whatsoever you are doing do it totally but do not get identified with it when i say happy i mean enjoy the happiness let it be the climate which will move and change winter comes and then summer follows so happiness is followed by sadness enjoy it let it be the climate which will move and change the morning changes into noon the noon changes into evening and then comes the night the childhood changes into the youth you changes and the process goes on so too let happiness be a climate around you enjoy it and then when sadness comes enjoy that too i teach you celebration enjoyment whatsoever be the case sit silently and enjoy the depth of sadness and suddenly sadness is no more sadness because it has become a silent peaceful moment for you beautiful in itself and nothing is wrong in it and then comes the climate of alchemy the point where suddenly you realize you are neither happiness nor sadness you are the watcher you watch peaks and valleys too you are neither of the two once this point is attained you can go on celebrating everything you celebrate life and you celebrate death you celebrate happiness and unhappiness also you celebrate everything then you are not identified with any polarity both the polarities have become available to you together and you can move one from one to the other like the north and the south pole of the magnet and in because of that alone the magnetic field is generated you have become liquid like you flow then you can use both always remember this there is no need to create problems try to understand the situation and the polarity of life in summer it is hot in winter it is cold so where is the problem in winter enjoy the cold in summer enjoy the heat in summer enjoy the hot sun in the night enjoy the stars and the darkness in the day sun and light you make enjoyment your continuity whatsoever happens you are enjoying in spite of it you go on enjoying you try it and suddenly everything is transfigured and transformed and you have attained to the third dimension enough for now